guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a look with a beloved old palette of mine. This is the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. I recently saw on Instagram that Colored Rain was bringing this palette back one last time. I guess it was limited edition and you can't buy it right now, but it's coming back one last time and it will be available, I don't know for how long or anything, they just said potentially early May and it'll be $29, made in the US, and it is cruelty free. So I really, really like this palette, and I tell the story of why I picked this up to use it the other day when I do this look, so you can hop on over to the look if you don't wanna see swatches, but really quick, I do wanna swatch this palette. I really, really like this palette, and I'm so glad that I felt the need to pick it back up and use it, and I'm sure now, with people trying to buy less makeup as things are, Right now in this world, maybe, you know, some older palettes could have a little renaissance and any of you that already have this palette um, can tell me your thoughts on it. I definitely love it and if people are going to get it one last chance to pick it up, I think if you guys let us know in the comments if you like this palette and what your thoughts are, that will be super helpful to people. So here are the first four shades. I have Toucan. Clay, Tigris, and Congo Basin. So today on my lids, I'm wearing Toucan. Clay is the matte brown shade that is in my crease. So I love this eye look so, so much, and it's so easy to do with these shadows. Okay, and here are the beautiful grungy shades. We have Green Valley, Jungle, Lioness, Amazon Basin, and Matriarch. I'm wearing Matriarch in the outer corner of my eye look today. So I only used three shadows to create this look. And let me tell you, I love this little palette. <sighs> like if I could do a nine shade eyeshadow palette, this would be a huge inspiration because I just feel like the variety of looks you can make with these shades is amazing. So here are the swatches on my skin tone. So let me go ahead and throw in a close up and then we can hop into this eyeshadow look. Okay guys, so I wanted to film a little demo with the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. I did see sometime this week that Colored Rain announced that this palette was coming back and it kind of prompted me to whip it out and try it out again. So according to Colored Rain, there is a sign up to be notified of the last return of our Safari Rain. You might want to uh, do so now, limited stock, return, and once it sells out, she's gone forever, possibly in early May, not available for pre-order, made in the USA, cruelty-free, and $29. So I just wanted to bring it back and show it to you guys in case you had forgotten about this palette. Colored Rain has easily one of my favorite formulas in the indie market, actually just of all time. I started off with their Queen of Hearts palette, which I purchased a few years ago when it was the rage and it's an amazing palette. I've pretty much bought all of their palettes since then and so I really really like this brand. They have no idea who I am. That's not why I'm making this video. I just thought that if you guys are looking for a really good quality neutral slash grungy palette this one is for you. I will swatch this palette for you guys. Um, at some point in this video, but right now I'm just filming the demo. So what prompted me to reach for this palette and use it again, it's kind of a funny story. My husband very recently picked up the Naked Honey palette for me. I've been like thinking about that palette so, so much recently. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but I, you know, make YouTube videos, but I also watch a lot of YouTube videos. I think I'm definitely a fan of YouTube as well as a you know participant of YouTube so I definitely get influenced by my 
friends that are influencers that I like to watch. So Teresa's dad has been raving about the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette and it's an older palette and I'm pretty sure I roasted the heck out of that palette and I never never thought I was going to buy it but I'm a sucker, I'm a clown, so my husband offered to buy me a palette and I said I want the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette and Urban Decay was doing a friends and family sale so I didn't feel too, too, you know, some type of way about having him buy me that palette. Um, anyway, so got the palette, I was going to wear it to work um, last Friday and I started playing with the mattes and honestly I didn't feel like they were showing up on my skin tone as much as I wanted to. I'm actually using the same blending brush in this video as I was with the Naked Honey. I just cleaned it with my Cinema Secrets. This is the Alter Ego number no. 3 brush and I didn't think anything was really applying so I was pretty um, disappointed I guess and so then I was about to pick out a shimmer and I was like you know what let me grab my Safari Rain palette because it reminds me of the Urban Decay Honey palette and that's what I did. I grabbed my Safari Rain palette, which I hadn't used in a while, and I used the foil shade called Toucan, and it just went on my lids so beautifully. I'm actually, you can see that eye look in my iridescent multi-chrome swatch party video, um, which is probably up here already, um, if you guys want to see the eye look I'm talking about. And it just looks so foiled and I of course filmed that video after work so I had had that makeup on for quite a few hours and just made me fall right back in love with this palette and the timing just seemed so perfect that I had seen that this palette was also being re-released so yeah I'm this is an ad <laughs> it's an unpaid ad but I just think this is such a beautiful palette and it's too bad that it's limited edition but it is coming back one more time so if you guys wanted to grab it this color story just speaks to my soul because it's neutrals and then it has the grungy green so and like look at how easily that blends I'm just like talking to you guys and blending away um, I haven't even told you the shade so I've only used two I've used the shade clay in my crease and then the outer corner I'm using the shade called matriarch and it's just a beautiful chocolatey brown shade these are so stunning I mean you can just sit here and blend all day long. I really like how those two mattes played together. And now for the easy fun part, I'm going to go ahead and use Toucan again. Same brush I used when I filmed the, or when I did the look with the this palette and the Urban Decay palette. You don't even have to wet these shimmers. Do you see that intensity? This is the intensity I'm looking for in any shimmery shadow I put on my eyes. I always compare it to the likes of Colored Rain, Sydney Gray. So when I have to fight with a with a shadow, I immediately just, you know, I'm like, why? I don't need to do this when I have great formulas like Colored Rain. So yeah, this is just stunning, stunning yellow gold shade. Ugh, before I got into color, shades like this was like my jam. So so happy that I still enjoy doing looks like this as well. So just because I want to amp it up just a little bit, I am going to spray my brush. You really don't need to, but I just thought it would make it even more. So, mm, I love it. I love it so much. Well, oh, it's so good. Can you guys believe this? I only used three brushes and I created this look. So good. And I know you could do, like each of these rows, you could do so many different things with. Like that yellow, you could wear on the lid, this orange. This could be an eye look. This could be an eye look. Like it's such a cute little palette. It's nine shades, but it's so diverse if you are trying to like get into greens and you don't want a full-blown green palette I think this is stunning so don't miss out I'm telling you it's gonna be one of those palettes once it's gone people are gonna like be like oh this is my unicorn palette it's the one that got away so just wanted to make this little video for you guys 
I love this look. So I'm really bad about like showing you guys stuff I get in PR. I try to post it on my Instagram, but I do want to tell you guys I did get a package from Good Molecules. This is the silicone free priming moisturizer. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. And I've seen so many people that got Good Molecules use this on their Instagram stories and stuff. And you guys know I'm not a... I'm not a primer girl at all, but my main reason for not using primer is honestly because I hate like when it pills and I feel like a lot of primers do that and I don't really need a pore filling primer or anything, but I always could use some extra hydration and I feel like this one definitely does that, so I don't mind it. Obviously, if you don't use primer, I wouldn't say like go out and buy this one, but if you're looking for a hydrating primer that's affordable, you might want to give this a go if you guys like primers. But again, that is not like mean that you need to go out and buy it. I'm just letting you know I've tried it a few times and I do like that little bit of hydration it gives me. I don't see anything else happening with it, but I've also not, there's something on my, I've also not used it a ton. So just wanted to provide that disclaimer. So now I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so obviously you did see the final look. This is everything that I created using the Safari Rain palette. I also want to let you know on my lips today I am wearing Morphe Spicy. I love these liquid lipsticks. They're like 10 bucks at Ulta and Morphe of course and I really like this color, so I just wanted to let you know what it is in case you guys asked me in the comments, and then I always forget. And then my blush today is an oldie. This was sent to me by my friend Letitia. She gave me the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Nude to Me, and I have been just looking for a nude blush, and I was gonna buy one, and I was like, Karen, I'm sure you have a nude blush in your collection, so I've been reaching for that quite a bit, and then for highlighter today, I have been reaching for my So Hollywood Highlight from Anastasia. I don't believe you can buy this one right now, but you know, they keep bringing this stuff back every once in a while, and I just like saw a picture of it on an old Instagram post, and I was like, gosh, I should really reach for that highlighter and try it out. So really like this entire look. It's very neutral, but very glam, I feel like. So yeah, just wanted to put a quick video together with some of my old favorites. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like I said, I've already raved about this palette a ton in this video, so I'm excited for it to come back one more time, and hopefully some of you are inspired to pick it up or maybe recreate this look with some shadows you already have. I will catch you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!